Hey guys, so for today's video, we are gonna do an easy-ish crown Dutch braid. I'm super excited for this. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a crown braid and I just knew I had to share this one with you. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've shown a couple crown braids in the past, um, but I don't think I've ever like truly done a Dutch crown braid. And personally, I cannot figure out my hands when I'm braiding, trying to like go around my head. It just doesn't work for me, so I always have to do two separate braids. So when I do this hairstyle, I like to part my hair to the side, and I like to always brush my hair before I do any type of braid, just to make sure I don't have any tangles. It's nice and smooth and tangle-free. So for 2022, we're all gonna learn how to Dutch braid, and I am here to teach you. So for this hairstyle, you just wanna section it off right past your ear, take that back section, and just tie it off into a bun with a hair tie. So now we're gonna start with our other section. We're gonna grab about an inch of hair right at the top, divide it into three sections. We're gonna take that front section, cross it under the middle section, take the back section, cross it under the middle section. So now we need to start adding in hair. So you're gonna hold on to that front section. You're gonna take a strand of hair right beneath it, just a small strand, doesn't need to be very big, and you're gonna add it into that front section. Now we're just gonna take that front section, cross it underneath that middle section. So now we do the same thing with the back section of hair. We're gonna add in a strand of hair from the top right next to it, add them together, and then you're gonna take that new section and then cross it underneath that middle section of hair. And we just keep doing that all the way down until we run out of hair. So I will show you again in slow motion. So hold on to that front section of hair, then grab a small strand of hair right beneath it, add it into that front section, take that section and then place it underneath that middle section of hair. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the back section. Grab a small strand of hair right above that back section, add them together, cross them both underneath that middle section. And now in normal speed, I'm just adding in hair to the front section, crossing it under the middle section. Adding in hair to the back section, crossing that back section under the middle section. And we just keep repeating. So you're gonna find out that this is a really easy braid once you practice it and you get used to it you'll be able to do it with your eyes closed i know the placement of your hands can be very tricky so just practice in front of a mirror have a youtube video playing right next to you as you're practicing keep rewinding it keep watching it keep looking at yourself in front of the mirror you might not get it the first time you try it you might not get it the second but you will eventually get it i promise you if i can braid anyone can braid i did not know how to do my hair until i was 19 20 years old <laughs> so once all of your hair is incorporated then you're just going to do a regular three strand braid tie it off with an elastic so your braid should end up looking like mine and now we need to do the same thing with the back section of hair so it is the exact same braid we're taking our outside strands crossing them under our middle strands and then we're just adding in hair right next to those outside sections crossing the sections underneath the middle section and doing this until we run out of hair. So it's a little bit different holding it in the back of your head, not being able to see. So I highly recommend practicing, practicing, practicing in front of the mirror until you get the hang of it. Um, but yeah, you just do the same thing. I actually messed up this part and I will explain to you why in a moment. Um, but for now, just watch me braid my hair. <laughs> So we want to be sure all of our hair is added in by the time we reach the other side of our head. So then once all of our hair is added in, then we're just doing a regular three strand braid. I always bring it around and just finish the three strand braid. Like once I bring it around, cause there's no way I, I'd have the arm strength to do it in the back of my head. Um, if you do props to you, but I do not. So as I'm looking at the back of my head and just kind of playing around with placement, I was like, hmm, I think I should have started the left braid over a little bit more towards the right braid. So the OCD in me has to restart. So I'm taking out that braid I just did and I'm starting closer to that right side. Um, I'm also starting it down a little bit more closer to my neck. I felt like the last one was a little bit too high so I'm glad I redid it you might not notice the difference but I would have noticed the difference and I probably would have had to refilm it and I'm glad I didn't have to refilm the whole entire video 
So now the fun part, we are gonna take that back braid, we're gonna bring it up over our head. So if you have a little bubble of hair like I do, just push it down before you bring that braid over and then just bobby pin it into place. We want our braid to lay flat against our head. Meta grip bobby pins, I've said it before, are the best. So now we need to take our ends and we're just gonna push it up behind that front braid and just kind of tuck it in and bobby pin it so that we hide them. We don't really want them to be visible. I do have a bobby pin showing um, at the top of my head and I do fix that. So for this next part, I messed up, but I'm still gonna show it to you because I think it's important to show you that everyone messes up, no one's perfect. So you wanna take that front braid and you see how I'm going underneath that other braid? We don't wanna do this. Um, so ignore what you are seeing right here. I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way. So you can definitely keep it this way. It doesn't look bad, but if you want it to look more of like a continuous braid, what you wanna do, you'll see here, is you wanna take that front braid and you just wanna bring it across that back braid. So we want it to kinda of hide it. So see how I'm draping it directly across that back braid and just bobby pinning it into place and it looks more of like a continuous braid. We still have to bring our ends up around and just kind of tuck it into the other braid. Um, it's still a little bit visible, but it's it's a lot better than what it was. <laughs> so now my favorite part and the most important part, you need to pancake both braids as much as you can. Pinch and pull the ends in the sections of each braid. Bobby pin it if it comes loose, but we need to make this big and fluffy. If you have really silky, fine hair, thin hair, you might need to use like dry shampoo, a texture spray, something like that. So this is the part where we fine tune it, we tuck in hair that's sticking out, we bobby pin things. This part took me longer than it did to actually do the Dutch braids. <laughs> okay, so I ended up getting up and I have a mirror like over here. I went in front of the mirror and just kind of played around with it, kept pinching and pulling. But anyways, you just have to play around with it, pin it, fan it out, um, and it'll work. Um, just, again, play around. So once you perfect it and fine tune it, it should look something like mine. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way this looks. It is so perfect. Um, and it's great for anyone that can't do a true crown braid where you braid all around your head. This breaks it up by doing it in just two braids. So it's kind of a little hack. I do have some hair sticking out that I was pointing to, but it still looks good. I actually wore this hairstyle into Target and I had a lady come up to me and she asked if my hair was fake and actually took me by surprise. But I realized it was a compliment because she was like, I've never seen a hairstyle like that. She was like, that is just so cool that you can do that on yourself. And that made me feel really good. So I hope you guys like this hairstyle as much as I do. So anyways, that is the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> I say this in every video now, but we are almost at 200K and it just has me feeling so happy, so excited, so just grateful beyond measure. So thank you guys that comment, like, and subscribe and just support my videos. It seriously just <sighs> means the world to me. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.